Okay, so take a deep breath. Let's just take a few minutes to kind of come in and be present with your body, with your mind, with your emotions while I read this um, invocation. And this is the main invocation that I use. Um, I haven't read it. I know we did the light, the light invocation here before. I'm not sure why I have not read this, but um, just take a deep breath. And while I'm reading it, just feel it in your body because this is all about um, really reconnecting and awakening all of the senses in our body. This is an invocation to Great Mother. Dear Mother, I bow my head, heart, and womb to you, for you are the creator and the created. From your womb, the 10,000 things are born. I ask that you bring me close to you, awaken me, and keep me in your flow of divine grace. Hold me in your ecstatic presence where all veils are dissolved, leaving only your whispering to truth as my teacher. Let me drink from your cup and merge with you into the annihilation of my being forever and ever, dear mother. Hmm. So I'm going to read it one more time so that you can even deepen that state that you're in right now. Dear Mother, I bow my head, heart, and womb to you. For you are the creator and the created. From your womb, the 10,000 things are born. I ask that you bring me close to you. Awaken me and keep me in your flow of divine grace. Hold me in your ecstatic presence where all veils are dissolved, leaving only your whispering truth as my teacher. Let me drink from your cup and merge with you into the annihilation of my being forever and ever, dear mother. Hmm. And just let yourself really open up to the cosmic frequencies, to the earth frequencies, to all the ways in which we are fed, we are supported, we are held. And just letting your body land. Into the frequency of the earth. Feeling your sitting bones, feeling your feet on the ground, if they are on the ground. Feeling your root, a whole area, your whole perineal um, perineum, perineum, <laughs> sorry, my words are uh, getting slurred. The whole root gateway, which you can access and feel in the perineum. And just letting yourself really root down into the earth and merge with her energetically, consciously, and merge also through the cells of your body. So feeling your roots, feeling your sitting bones, feeling your whole pelvic floor and feeling the gravity that holds you close to her. Feeling this force that we call gravity. Just feeling that pulling you down, pulling you in, supporting you, holding you close. Hmm. 
And then we can actually experience and listen from this place of being and feeling grounded and just starting to settle, settle our nervous system and this place of being embodied where we're aware of our physical body and we're aware of all or at least some of the frequencies and energies around us. And we're aware of the earth and how she's holding us. And especially on this day of May 1st of Beltane, which is the time of, of the year, so the cycle of the year. So we have cycles within cycles within cycles, right? We live in all of these different cycles. We have the moon cycle, which many of us are aware of, the new moon, the full moon, the quarter moons, and that, and that um, cycles every 29 and a half days, so every month, technically. Um, and then we have the earth cycles, and we're in this time between the spring and the summer, which we call Beltane. And so today is um, a celebration of this day. And in this day, or in this season, I should say, because of course it's not just one day, but this stage where the earth is moving in a particular way around the axis of the sun, we're between spring and summer, so we're feeling the fullness, the abundance of form, of how life is, is created and how what we see in the plants and the, and the vegetation on the earth. And we can feel that fullness, that aliveness, that joy, that essence that starts being manifested as a seed, perhaps, and then we see that come into full bloom on the earth. And so we can tune into that cycle, which we will do later on in the process, that cycle of, of manifestation of abundance. And um, I'm going to read you a quality because today I actually um, looked for a quality uh, one of the Sufi qualities, the Sufi, in the Sufi lineage, there's um, all of the, the frequencies are called the universal qualities, all of the divine frequencies. And so their manifestation of how that frequency or that energy comes through us. And it is said that in the secret of our soul, we carry these qualities. And throughout our lifetime, we embody them. You know, we embody them to the degree that we embody them. Um, and so a lot of the qualities that we've spoken about already are like the quality of peace and safety and joy and love. And um, the quality, which was so perfect, <laughs> that was picked, um, that came up in the book for today is Kareem, because Kareem is that abundance um, so if we tune into the earth cycle, uh, we could tune into that abundance. And on one level, that's the process that the earth is, is in right now, right? Her natural process of abundance. And on another level, of course, we're handling and we're going through this time of quarantine and we're going through, you know, this other, you know, cycle of what seems to be a, a huge transformation, a huge initiation of death and rebirth, right? So we're going through that cycle and astrologically we've talked about that as well. So there's a new, there's a, there's a new um, rebirth happening while there's, you know, old paradigms falling apart. And so that's another cycle. But today I want to tune in to the cycle of um, abundance 
and how we can feel that in our own bodies and how we can feel that abundance in our own earth, in our own physical body. So even in our bodies, um, we have all of the elements uh, of the of the earth of the great mother and i refer to these in the in the um teachings of conscious feminine medicine i refer to these as the universal mothers which i know a few of you a few of you really love because it's it's really working with um this concept of how the great mother of how the divine of how oneness is holding us at all times and has created from that essence our physical form which includes the elements of fire and the elements of water and the elements of earth and the elements of air and the elements of ether of consciousness and so all of these are are happening outside of us in nature and all of them are happening within us to create um, our physical body and our subtle bodies because we also have our mental body and we have our emotional body and we have soul and our, we have our secret etc and we have our chakras and we have our meridians so there's a lot of different subtle bodies again cycles happening within cycles and um when we're unconscious when we're unconscious we are not aware of these cycles that are happening within us you know so we're not awakened to them we maybe we only believe in or see or deal with reality as as form but as we're awakening into the light as someone was mentioning earlier we become aware of more and more of these subtle cycles and more and more of how they're functioning within us and how to access these within us so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually stop here because I want to check in with the group and then we're going to go into, then I want to read the quality and um, I'm going to read a little bit about this uh, pillar of the universal mothers, which you'll love. And then we'll go into a process. So I'm going to actually record it. Ah, so let's just take a minute and just kind of come in again to our beautiful, physical form or vessel or physical body, bring our awareness inside. Hmm. And um, we want to tune into this cycle of growth that's happening. That's happening on the earth so that we want to tune into the earth cycle the earth seasons and we want to turn in to how or kind of bring our awareness and our inquiry to our hearts of of how that is manifesting for us within and how can we focus on that harness that cultivate that receive that because that's connected to joy as well. Joy is at the root. It's also connected to the fire element that ignites all of the processes within our body and outside in nature, um, which we can see it as the, as a, as the sun. And and this idea of abundance, of abundance. So I'm going to, let me open that up. I'm going to read this quality of abundance. 
And I want you to just feel that in your heart as I'm reading it. Al Karim, the generous, the noble minded, the charitable. This name contains the divine's most generous quality, a generosity that reaches everything without exception. It contains all the giving required to preserve life. This name contains the mercy and the kindness that exists between the divine and the creation. Al Karim is the constant flow of the divine's gifts to the creation. Al Karim and Ali Kram both come from the root. KRM, from which the following meanings are derived, to be noble, to be precious, to honor, to revere, to venerate, to treat with deference, deference, sorry, to bestow honor, to view in generosity, to meet politely, to show one's generous side, to be friendly, kind, to bestow, to bestow graciously, high-minded, noble-hearted, generous, liberal, beneficent, gracious, mark of honor, the miracle that the divine works through someone else, through a saint or allows to happen in your life, noble deeds and our value. Al Karim's gifts are both of spiritual nature and of material nature. The divine's generosity and kindness are boundless. Every refinement you have been given is generosity. Patience is generosity. Inspiration is generosity. Reasoning is generosity. And generosity itself is generosity. Generosity is something we human beings need urgently. She has given us the world, the whole world, and the freedom to treat it as we wish. The heart is where we begin, where we end, and where the joy is. All of the creatures, human beings, all of all the creatures, the human beings carry, carry the joy and can share the joy, the eternal joy and the harmony. Show your generosity on this path of your own transformation by fanning the fire of love in your heart and by learning to transform everything in you through that fire and learn to burn and trust. To be grateful for our fellow human beings help and support and to express this gratitude is precious because we often forget, especially when we've received plenty. Oh, so then it continues to talk about Al Karim. So Al Karim is not just spiritual in nature, this quality of abundance, but it's also 
material form. And so when we're in Beltane, this quality of al Karim, this quality of abundance, is the stage of where the earth is moving through in this moment. And so we want to take that into our hearts and breathe in al Karim. And acknowledge our body, acknowledge our body as this vessel of abundance, of abundance where we can breathe in the universal mother of air, the cosmic womb mother of air that's always there for us, breathing in the air and the oxygen, keeping us alive, sustaining us in abundance. And we want to honor outside of ourselves the trees that maintain and create and correlate with the oxygen and the air outside of ourselves. And we want to invite the Earth Mother that gives our body the physical structure of our bones. and all of the other forms. So we wanna thank the earth element within us, the earth mother and outside of ourselves and the trees and all of the plants and all of the beautiful forms on earth, all of the vegetation, all of the creation, animals, everything from the, the cells in our body to the outward creation. on earth. And then we want to invite the ocean mother of love, of water, the water element, which is the fluids in our body. And breathing in the fluids into our body, becoming conscious of how the fluids are moving around the lymphatic system, of our circulatory the blood, the fluids. And breathing that in, becoming conscious of how that nourishes each and every cell in our body. And then we want to invite the fire, the dragon mother, a fire of transformation of, of that fire that ignites in our system. It ignites all of the processes in our body. It's the life force that we feel in our system. And we can become conscious of that in our bodies. And so as a process, I want to invite you to do the five, the five breaths of the Universal Mother. So we're going to start, we're not going to do the whole activation. We can probably do that next time. But for today, let's start just with the, the, the different breaths. And I'm going to guide you through the breaths as we invite each of these elements as universal mothers that are here to support us in this abundance. And so as we're sitting, let's bring in the Earth Mother correlated with our root chakra and our root base. We can focus on our perineum. And the breath is in and out through our nose. We just want to breathe in gently through our nose and out through our nose. And as we do that, 
Allow yourself to invite and feel, become conscious of the earth element in your body. Feeling at one with the divine great mother. And the abundance of what she has given you. And in the earth in your body, the structures, the bones, the organs. muscles, everything with density that you can feel. And just notice as you're breathing in and out through your nose, notice as you tune in what, what structure in your body needs, needs the love. Maybe it's your bones, maybe it's your muscles, maybe it's your cells. And just become aware of what you become aware when you ask that question in your heart, continuing to breathe in and out through your nose and just receiving Receiving the abundance, receiving Al Karim, receiving Al Karim in your bones, receiving Al Karim, the love and your cells and your muscles and your structures. Mm. Feeling supported, physically supported in your body, feeling the earth underneath you. Mm. We're going to move into the ocean mother, which is the element of water and inviting the elements of water through your breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And just continuing circular breathing, which is just to breathe in and then exhale and then breathe in with no pauses in between, but you can go slow, you can breathe in slowly and slow down, doesn't have to be fast. And while you're doing that, if you're breathing, this is the water breath. You're aligning yourself with the water element, with the universal mother of, of water, which I call the ocean mother of love. And that love you feel that love through the fluids of your body, through your lymphatic system, through your blood. And the fluids are in between holding, nurturing, nourishing with waves of love, all of the structures in your body, all of the cells are steeped in fluid, the ocean of love. And let yourself feel the wave of love of the ocean mother within you. Feel the abundance of Kareem Breathing in and out, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Feeling the wave. Of love. 
And you can start to feel that even in very, very subtle movement in your body. Start to feel that wave coming through you, moving you so that you're not moving from your mind, from your intellect. You're letting yourself tune into the consciousness of, of water, of fluids in your body. And then letting yourself ever so slightly tune into that. And letting that consciousness expand. It's consciousness of love. Oh, beautiful. And then we're gonna move into and invite the fire element. So the fire quickens, the fire is that life force that's moving through. The fire brings you that passion and inspiration. It quickens every single process in the cells, in your body, in your brain. It's, it's all that neural activity also in the brain that's directing and firing and, and moving all of the fluids and hormones and cell activity and, and that breath is in and out through your mouth in and out through your mouth and this is also seen as that life force that shakti energy that fire that also burns burns and transforms and transmutes in our bodies. And in and out through our mouth. And if we want to, we can quicken that. And we can do something like this. So two in and one out. Two in and one out. Or you can do one and one. Or you can do any variation that you resonate with. You can play around with this. And just feel that activating force in your body, how it starts to activate and quicken and feel the rise of the life force within you. This is a breath that also quickens the processes of digestion and circulation and all of our systems, quickens also the lymphatic system and it ignites, it activates. And so breathing from that fire element into the air element. And the air element is the air that we breathe in through our mouth and out through our nose. Breathing in through our mouth and out through our nose.
-hmm. And letting ourselves really be conscious of the cycle of breath in through our mouth and out through our nose and inviting inviting the cosmic womb mother that breathes us at all times that is breathing us as if we're in the cosmic womb as we're in a womb and we're being held and breathed. And we can lean back into the womb, this ethereal womb that we're in. And we can feel the air and the breath in our physical bodies as well. And even in each and every cell of our body, knowing that each and every cell is also breathing. It's breathing in the oxygen, it's breathing in the fluids, it's breathing. And this whole process is happening in every single part of your body of your form and in your subtle bodies as well, which we can work with next, next session, next week. Breathing in through your mouth and out through your nose. And letting that expand and relaxing in that breath in that womb, inviting al Kareem into the breath, into the air, into our lungs. Last one here. And then last but not least, we want to invite the elements of ether, which are correlated with the dark moon mother. So the ether is coming in and it's all around us and we can imagine and correlate it with the moon bringing in and shining a beautiful light upon us and also the dark moon mother which allows for the deeper transformation and expression of our light. And it's also our consciousness and consciousness of everything which we're surrounded in. So our bodies have consciousness, our cells have consciousness, our muscles have consciousness, and all aspects of our form. There's consciousness, there's different dimensions of consciousness. And we can tap into each and every one of these and awaken to more and more and more subtle fields of consciousness. Oh, and that breath, sorry, that breath is in and out through your nose very gently, very gently. A lot more gentler than the earth breath, which is also in and out through your nose. And when you're breathing out, you want to focus the breath that is coming out 
It's also, for some people that know, that says the lunar breath. It's also, when you're breathing out, you almost want to bring it through your throat, the back of your throat, and let it have some sound. Let it have a little bit of sound. But making sure it comes out through your nose. So I don't know if you can hear me, but it um, sounds a little bit like this. So that you're aware of the breath going in through the nostrils, through the back of the throat, and in your body, and then coming back out and just making it audible and still expressing the air through the nose. Letting this breath Come in and letting your whole being expand in ether and consciousness and space. Those are space, but that space has consciousness. Letting yourself expand in that within, within your whole body, within each and every cell. Beautiful. And now let yourself just connect with the light within your being, within your body, wherever that shows up for you. It might be inside your spinal column. You can see a column of light going all the way from the top of your head all the way down to your root. And then just let yourself kind of breathe into that access, into that vertical access, breathing into that vertical access. And feeling all of the elements joining and merging together within you in this magical way that forms your form and outside of us forms the earth and all of her creation. And it's just slowly feel that the merging of all those elements supporting you at all times inside of you and outside of you. And letting that perhaps move you a little, starting to just feel a particular rhythm. Maybe there's a gentle swaying from within to the left and to the right. Very, very gentle. Where you could just feel the rhythm of the harmony of all of those elements. All of that happening. without you having to do anything. All of that is happening. And there is so much abundance, abundance. 
We want to invite even more abundance as we recite Al Karim. 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 Al Karim Al Karim Al Karim Al Karim Al Karim You can continue to recite that gently out loud or silently while you also envision the abundance that you're held in from the divine, also envision that in your life. What does it look like to have abundance in your life? What does that look like? How can that manifest in your life? By having the things you need, by having your resources, by having your food, your shelter, and then even more abundance, even more abundance. And can you trust this frequency of abundance that is innate? We all carry this quality in our, in our soul. Can you trust that even when it's not manifesting outside of you? Even when you're being squeezed on some level, like we all might be at this time where, where we're not working. And can you connect to the inner abundance and then let that abundance flourish outside of you and envision that in your life outside of you. So it's like you're creating. So this is the, one of the secrets of creating abundance in our lives is to first connect with that abundance. We can't create from scarcity. We can only create from that quality of abundance, which is what creates, right? That quality of al Karim, al Razak, is what creates form, abundance. It's the abundance made manifest. So we have to first connect with that, feel it in our body, see it, taste it, experience, embody that quality, that frequency. Surrender to that, trust that, and then let that expand, expand, expand into form outside of ourselves. Because when we get into fear, we block this frequency of Al Karim, Al Razak. So when we get into fear, we want to bring the fear into the love. Yes, when we don't know where it's coming from. When we don't know what's next, that brings up fear. When we don't know how it will manifest. But that doesn't have to stop the manifestation. We may not know, but this is this is a greater uh, transformation of our own doing and surrendering into the divine manifestation. Because at the end of the day, that's what's creating anyway. 
And so we can surrender into our Kareem, that abundance within us and embody that and cultivate that every day. We can do this for five minutes, 10 minutes. And then trust and let that, let that overflow into our physical form, into our manifested form outside of ourselves and into our lives. It's like it's a river. It's like if you can think of that frequency as a river that's moving through you, all of these elements, and it's moving through you, and it's breathing you, and it's bringing in the life force, and it's really keeping you alive in abundance and shifting into that paradigm. And then that river, the more that we bring our conscious mind, because that's one of the elements of creating. So the more that we bring our conscious mind into that frequency, that river, then that river can grow and grow and grow and grow, become the ocean that we feel and that we're swimming in and manifest outside of ourselves into form, into form. So yes, we create with our minds, but we have to tap into the frequency, the consciousness of creation herself. Ah, so, Let's just take a last breath in gratitude, bowing in gratitude for all that we've received, for the beauty of the wisdom that comes through each and every one of us, the beauty of the ancestors that are here with us, bringing this wisdom through of how to realign ourselves with the earth, realign ourselves with her abundance, realign ourselves as stewards of the earth, realign our hearts and our souls and our bodies with the earth and then with the divine oneness, great mother, source. God, goddess. And so as you can, let yourself open your eyes, come into the physical realm, but bringing all of those treasures with you. So still having part of your consciousness in this Kareem, in this abundance that's within you. And then I just want to bow so that I can um, end the recording and I'm going to allow and open up for comments and sharing if you wish to stay. Yeah.